Snickle Fritz. I don't understand the whole retro gaming thing. Probably like how some people don't understand my collection of 1960s nudie mags. To each their own, I guess. But when it comes to nest collecting, the only thing that comes to mind is hours of frustration, anxiety, and lots of anger. Limited saves, limited lives, not being able to land the jet and top gun, the sewer in the Ninja Turtles games, having my entire party locked in the basement in Maniac Mansion, there's countless moments like this. I have cold sweats just thinking about these things. The games themselves didn't bring me joy. The characters did. Mario, Link, Samus, Donkey Kong... If it wasn't for those games with those specific characters, I don't think we'd be talking about the NES today. Let's be honest, most of those games were absolute stinkers. I think more people have connections with the characters instead of the games. On another note, I once saw a bearded elderly woman in Seattle. Upon closer inspection, it was just Metal Jesus. Zing. Uh, are you sure? Sure it wasn't. You didn't also see maybe uh, someone selling cookies? You know, some of those... Some of those um, cookie uh, Girl Scouts look a little like Metal Jesus, I've heard. Yeah, the characters are a big selling point of uh, something like the Nintendo games. Uh, imagine, if you will, the same exact games. You know, maybe a lot of these same simple cutesy type games without Mario, without Link, without Samus, without Donkey Kong. Imagine the same exact games without those characters. In many cases, I think a lot of those games get higher ratings because they have those marketable characters in the game. And definitely their sales are higher because they got those marketable characters. Think about, uh, well, for instance, think about, you know, the Sonic games. There's a lot of crappy Sonic games. Would you buy those Sonic games if they didn't have that marketable character? You know, um, and I'm not going to judge you for your collection of 1960s nudie Max. Uh, it's an interesting thing to collect. You know, because me, I would just, you know, be looking through it going like, man, you know, all these chicks are dead. Are the ones that, you know, are alive right now probably look like a female version of Scotty Kilmer. 